Let's discuss steric effect. It is one of the guiding principles in chemistry that explains the existing facts and foretells the product of a chemical reaction. It influences the electronic availability in bonds or at particular atoms. The steric effect depends upon the bulkiness of groups in a molecule. When the bulky groups in a molecule are in close vicinity, they are repelled by each other. And this repulsion is known as the steric hindrance or shear bulk effect. As the interacting groups are not directly connected or directly bonded with each other, therefore the steric effect is also known as the non-bonded repulsion. Let's discuss steric effect deeply by an example involving a reaction of azocoupling. In the azocoupling reaction, an dimethyl aniline is a substrate that attacks on a diazonium cation. An dimethyl aniline has a lone pair of nitrogen that are involved in resonance. And aniline is an ortho para director that generates a negative charge on ortho and para position. When the negative charge on the para position, the negative charge attacks on diazonium cation. The aromaticity of benzene ring is disturbed. That is regained when this bond is shifted between meta and para carbon and hydrogen is removed. And at the end, the nitrogen gets its lone pair back, generating this kind of product. The reaction of azocoupling proceeds when we use a substrate of anandimethyl aniline, but it does not proceed when the derivative of anandimethyl aniline is used. This substrate is dialkylated at ortho position. Why this reaction does not proceed at derivative of anandimethyl aniline? The reason behind it is the steric effect. The two methyl groups are in close vicinity with each other and both are in plane. They repel each other and create disturbance or instability. To overcome this instability, the bond of nitrogen and carbon is rotated. This rotation makes aniline with two methyl groups out of the plane to the plane of benzene ring. When both are out of the plane, there will be no resonance. And when there is no resonance, there will be no azocoupling because N and C bond is rotated. From this example, we can conclude that steric hindrance or shear bulk effect depends on the bulkiness of groups and it operates when the bulky groups are in close vicinity. It decreases direct electronic availability for reaction. It also converts the delocalized bonds to the localized chemical bonds. This was all about the steric effect. Thanks for watching.